we were doing uh, last time. And last time I kind, kind of introduced us to the uh, practice that I want us to do on a regular basis, like every week. And it's basically practicing um, different principles through affirmations. And affirmations, as we talked last time, is the positive statements, and we are doing them like they already happened. So uh, why uh, I want us to do this is that we all, we know how important this goal setting is. So in a, our goals is something that we want to accomplish in the future. And here we are right now, we are in our current position and we are going toward our goals. And in between current position and our goals is a space where our actions, they like determine what we're gonna get in the future. And we need some, so we need to um, stretch our mind, to rewire our mind, our thoughts. Uh, because if we're gonna do everything we were doing before, we kind of will be keeping our current position. So we need to incorporate new principles new ideas to move us to our goals and um, those ideas I want us to practice through affirmations and every week uh, I want us to practice new principles through affirmations and those principles are like they have been proven for many years for, uh, by the different people who got successful with practicing them so we can just uh, start practicing them and uh, get successful in what we want to achieve. And last week, we were pre the affirmation was about taking 100% responsibilities for our life, for our thoughts, the images we are creating in our mind, and the thing we are experiencing, the thing we are feeling, visualizing. So it's very important to rewire our brain to the position where we think that we are 100% uh, responsible for what we are thinking and our thoughts, they are becoming on our action. So, and actually I was practicing it through the week, every day, and I, like I suggested, practice it in the morning and in the evening. And I myself noticed such a big difference so I think my brain going through the week uh, started like learning this, remembering this, that I am 100% responsible. And even if the, like on a big scale, I got it, but in some um, small thoughts uh, that might be not very uh, important um, as you may think, but I started noticing those thoughts and I started reacting differently to those thoughts and I kind of started thinking that even in those thoughts I I'm responsible to change them so hopefully you are practicing it as well and you'll notice the difference as well um, we are going to be practicing another principle introducing another principle later today so we're going to be finishing the program with the um, introducing a new principle but I want you to practice I, if, if you haven't started please start uh, if you cannot do it like every day do it every other day uh, and you'll notice the difference I promise you and today uh, I'm I want us to go through mindful meditation so we were doing uh, bits of uh, mindful meditation before like we were breathing we were stretching we were noticing our body grounding ourselves and I want today I want us to go through the process of meditation like combining all of the, those things and um, practice it let's remind ourselves what mindful is so we are kind of um, aware of what we're going to be doing so mindfulness is the uh, process of paying attention to the present moment with openness curiosity and willingness to be in the present moment and go through this present moment as it is it's very important because uh, living in a 
21st century is not very easy experience. It's hard experience. Uh, life is very busy. And um, at the end of the day, if you ask um, people who are very successful, who are going uh, through the process of their life, everyone wants to be at peace. Everyone wants to be happy. It's no matter what's happening with you in your life, um, your, most of the people want and we are here as well. We want to be at peace, we want to be happy. And we only can find peace and happiness in the present moment. But what normally happens is that we either worrying about our or reflecting on our past or worrying about our future. So, and it's normal, it's totally okay because like our heart is pumping our blood, our mind is generating thoughts all the time. It's, um, it's not very realistic to just shut down our mind and be in a peace without any thoughts. So we want to be in the thinking process, but we want to understand and learn the idea that we always can got back to the present moment where the peace is and we want to be able to know that no matter what happens in our life in the present moment we feel peace we feel happy it's where uh, our mindfulness is and we want to be learning that we can practice it whenever we need it so it's not you you may think that you need to meditate, like sit and meditate in order to practice mindfulness. Uh, but if you practice mindfulness, um, like ideally daily, what happens is that every time you need it, you will practice it without practicing meditation itself. So your mind and you will be learning this idea and you will uh, like in a matter of seconds, uh, bring yourself into the present moment and feel this peace and happiness. And this will help you to stay focused, stay aware, stay positive in order to be able to live um, purposefully and to the full potential and to plan to reflect on your past, but you know that you can always come back to the present and experience this peaceful. So this is very important to understand. And um, let's start our practice. So uh, I want you to, you can take any position. If you sit uh, in your chair and somewhere it's like, um, it's good, it's the best position. I think you it's the most supported position for you. So I'm gonna be taking a seat as well and I'm going to be guiding you through this meditation. I have my um, script that will help me. So let's try practice. I want you to pay attention to the present moment and uh, I will be guiding you through this uh, meditation and you just follow uh, what I will be saying. So I, invite, I invite you to settle back in your chair or whenever you are sitting or if you are staying I invite you to stay and if you're comfortable you can close your eyes you do not have to meditate with your eyes closed but closing your eyes can be very helpful if it doesn't feel comfortable you can leave your eyes open. If you leave your eyes open, have them looking down with a soft gaze.
and so your feet should be on the floor your back upright as much as possible in the chair but at the same time being very comfortable not too rigid not too tight just comfortable your hands can be resting on whenever is comfortable your hands can be on your legs or on the arms of the chair so just pay attention to the position you are taking and feel comfortable in this position Feel your feet, feel your back, touching the chair. Through this process, I like to put my tongue on the roof of my mouth, or you can put it whatever is comfortable for you. And let's begin by noticing our body present in the chair. So this is the first step of being mindful. Just bringing our attention in our body right here and right now. And if you notice your feet on the floor and what that feels like to have your feet on the floor. There is weight and contact with the floor, vibration or touch or some movement. Just notice your feet on a floor. And then notice your legs in the position that they are in. And then notice your legs touch the chair. So there is heaviness, pressure, vibration, just notice your legs in the position where they are right now. And as you are doing this, you are bringing your mind inside your body into the present moment. Our body is always in this present moment, so can we bring our mind there too? You are bringing your mind inside your body into the present moment. And you can notice your back against the chair and what that feels like. Bring your mind into feeling your back against the chair. And now you can bring attention into your stomach area and see if your stomach is tight or tense. And if it is, allow it to soften a little bit. You can breathe more deeply into your stomach area. Bring your attention into your stomach. 
and soften it if it's tight or tense. And now notice your hands. And if your hands are tense or tight, allow them to soften. How about your arms and shoulders? Notice them and let them be relaxed. And now notice your face, your jaw. Soften your jaw, soften your face muscles. And now begin noticing that your body is breathing. But without you having to do anything about it. Noticing your body is naturally breathing. Bring your attention to the breath that your body is. And now see if you can find your breath in the body. See if you can catch the area where your breath is. Let the breath be natural. Do not try to elongate or shorten it. And you may find your breath in the abdomen area. And see if you can feel your breath in the abdomen area. There is a rising and falling sensation, expansion and contraction. There is rising and falling sensation, expansion expansion and contraction. How it is about your chest area? Do you feel your chest moving up and down? Expanding, contracting, rising, falling, Notice if you can find the breath in your chest area. And now notice if you can feel your breath in your nostrils. There is coolness, heat, flow of sensation. Notice what's happening in your nostril here. Can you feel the coolness or heat of the air? If there is a sound, just let the sound to be in the background. Try to focus on your breath. Find your breath in one of the spots, abdomen, chest, or nostrils. Try to locate your breath in those areas. And let your attention come to rest. Choose one area, and it doesn't really matter which one. 
choose one that is the most obvious to you or the easiest to find your breath in. And now see if you can feel one breath at a time, one breath after the next in the area you chose to find it. And as you do this, it is likely your mind will start to wander. Perhaps all sorts of things will come to your mind. And if it's that the case, you are not doing anything wrong. It is actually quite normal. Your mind may start wandering. And when you notice your mind is wandering, say thinking or wandering. When you notice your mind is wandering, say thinking or wandering. And then very gently bring your attention back to your breathing. So you are with your breath, you get lost in thoughts. You might say thinking and come back to your breath. And you get lost in thought again, say thinking and then gently get back to your breath. If you notice you are sleepy right now, that is fine as well. So you can be aware of being sleepy, that is good. If you are feeling restless, Notice this as well. And whatever takes you away from your breath, become aware of it and then come back to your breath. If you notice your mind is wandering, say thinking or wandering and come back to your breath. So now we are going to be practicing this on our own for a few minutes. Practice noticing your mind wandering, say thinking or wandering and come back to your breath. I will be quiet and you give it a try with your breath getting lost and coming back. Try noticing your breath getting lost and coming back.
no matter how many times your mind gets lost, no matter how many times it is goes away from the present moment, you always can start again. So just bring it right back, come back to the breathing. You can also notice the sound and for the moment everybody just listen to the sound in your room. Some sounds can come and go, some sounds seem more constant. And in order to be practicing mindful meditation, we do not have to be in a completely silent place to meditate. We can just come into the present moment through listening. And listening meditation is actually a really wonderful way to practice mindfulness. For the last minute of the meditation, if you want to stay with your breath, if you want to stay with the listening to the sound, and notice you may start to think about the sound, what it is, why it is there. So if you can let go of that and just come back to the pure act of listening or the pure act of breathing. So come back to the pure act of listening or the pure act of breathing. And then take one more breath with awareness and whenever you, whenever you are ready, when you finish that breath, feel free to open your eyes. So this is the meditation that I want us to practice today and take some moment to reflect of maybe you learned something, you felt something through the process. Um, you may feel that your sensations open up so because we were kind of grounded we were experiencing present moment a lot of things can come up that we are not really noticing on our day-to-day -day basis because we are moving really fast so you can notice your open up sensation of course you can notice how many thoughts you have and we were practicing to let go of the thoughts so to be able to notice them see them and let go this is the main um, idea that I want us to learn here this ability to be present to stay grounded and not to um, catch those thoughts so very uh, great metaphoric idea I like about our thoughts is that you can imagine that our thoughts are trains and we are staying on the platform and our thoughts is uh, are trains. And so you can see the train and you can go on the train and this train will take you um, away from the present moment 
as far as you can imagine and you can you will probably you will probably experience this like you start from just one thought and then you are carrying you are carried away with this thoughts like far far away from the present moment so the idea of mindfulness is that you see those trains they are passing by and you are staying on the platform noticing those trains your thoughts but staying grounded in the present moment and you can choose what kind of thoughts you can catch and this is how you are experiencing this peace and you can experience it in any time on your day and any time in your life it's very important because it's ground you and you are present it's very important with your relationship with your kids with your partner at work while you are at your interview while you are doing your research while you are in your lecture so next time you are going through the week and you are noticing yourself in the position where you have to be the most focused and you notice that you are catching those trains that you do not really need to catch you may notice that you can you have this knowledge and ability to stay on this platform and just stay away from those trains for the period that you need like um, during your most important conversation um, conversation with your kids with your partner whenever you need it so another thing is that some of you can feel bored like because we are not really doing anything and um, most time in our life we are waiting for something to happen and we need like so what's going to be happen we are wondering and we are waiting but now in this meditation nothing is really happening and we may feel bored and this this is very good if you are noticing you are bored because it's a good ability to understand what uh, boredness is for you and of course it's very useful to be able to go through the uh, being bored without experiencing too much anxiety without experiencing too much frustration so you are just sitting and um, curiously wondering and noticing what your experience you are bored and what it feels like for you so i hope you enjoyed this practice and i hope you with our recording we are streaming right now live on facebook and you anytime you want to practice it again you can go back to it and practice this mindful meditation it's a basic uh, meditation but it's a great way to start practicing and it's it will it can teach you a lot of things so thank you very much for being present through this uh, meditation and I want us to move to the uh, another idea that we were talking at the beginning to affirmations of this week so as we were discussing affirmations is kind of uh, idea to focus our thoughts so with the meditation we know that we can free, free ourselves from thoughts it's not necessary to be caught up by thoughts and to uh, that are carry us away and we are like uh, and we are think that we are not we do not have really control of those thoughts so we know this through meditation but now as our mind is always thinking we want to uh, rewire our thoughts we want to stretch our thoughts and we want our thoughts to be uh, the one that will be producing the actions that can lead us to our goals so we already practice thinking that and implementing it in life that we are 100 responsible for 
our actions, thoughts, and our future. So this week, I want you to I want to introduce you to another principle, and this principle is about. So this week the principle is um, about uh, our purpose in life. So with, with this principle we are practicing uh, to be clear why we are here. And uh, we are practicing um, being clear of what we are doing in our life. Once we uh, practice the responsibility thing, we want to understand what we are doing here in this life and we are clear of what we are doing. It's very important because without this clearness, it's very easy uh, to take us from our purpose, to put us aside. And so we feel frustrated, we feel uncertain. So it's very important to uh, feel this clearness with our, with our purpose. And everyone has its unique purpose in life. We just need to identify it and practice it and uh, bring in this world our purpose. And because it's our purpose, we feel happy to do it and we get a lot in response. And that's how we keep ourselves in balance with our environment. And um, being aligned with your purpose is where you feel the passion of doing things in your life. So we all hear that uh, find your passion is very important and passion is very connected to finding your purpose. Um, so with the principle from the previous week, we now understand that the finding our purpose is in our hands so many people may think that it's kind of a magic and one day you will find your purpose but actually it's in your hand to find your purpose in your life and I have a, a small exercise for all of us uh, that may help to find uh, your purpose in life and I think it's uh, it will be very helpful for our M participants and they are in the process uh, in their life. We all are, but it's, I think it's so, um, so relevant to their position. So let's um, go through the exercise. It's like if this exercise has nothing to do with physical activity, it's more uh, exercise for you to think, to go through some experience, to um, put your creativity and to think about what's going on with you. So first step is you want to list two of your unique personal qualities. So think of your two unique personal qualities. It may take, it may, it uh, can make, can take some time. Uh, let's, let it be let it take any time you, you need. So for example, it can be leadership and innovation. So your uh, unique personal qualities is leadership and innovation. Uh, for some, it can be uh, kindness and support. Let's stick with leadership and innovation. In a step number two, you want to list one or two ways you enjoy experience these qualities when interacting with others. So when you think about your two uh, personal qualities, then you think about ways uh, how you enjoy experiencing those, those qualities with interact with interact in, through interacting with uh, interacting with others. And so uh, it can be for like if we think about leadership and innovation, it can be support and inspire. So um, you have this leadership and innovation, innovation quality, and you're experiencing them through interaction with others, uh, and it's 
through support and inspiration. The next step in, is where you think that you imagine that the world is the perfect place. And each of us is living our unique calling in this world. So what does the world look like and feel like for you? So here you are bringing your uh, full um, thinking of world being perfect place and you think of what world is look like and feel like. And for example, you may think that in this perfect world, everyone is working in their ideal field and everyone is working in harmony with each other and without conflict or damage to the earth. So you are imagining this, this perfect world like the perfect place where everyone is working in their ideal field and harmony with each other and without any damage to the earth. And moving to the next step, you combine those answers that you gave to the first and second question, and you combine them into a single statement that will define your life purpose. And this statement will tell how it contributes in this ideal world. So we have our leadership and innovation quality. We have support and inspiration how we interact with, uh, with the world. And we have this ideal world where everyone is working on their desired field with connection to each other and without damage. So now we can combine it and our statement can be uh, as follows. To use my leadership qualities to inspire and support innovative entrepreneurs who are building sustainable business. So hear this statement and see how it sounds to you. To use my leadership qualities to inspire and support innovative entrepreneurs who are building sustainable business. So now you identified your unique calling in this life. And it may not be you are in, at this position right now, but it will what bring you this uh, feeling of being on your, on, on your unique place and making it as your affirmation you can start noticing the possibilities and you can start um, feeling where you can implement your unique qualities and your unique interaction with the world. And then that's how you may notice the response from the world to you. And you can you start create this exchange of like, different purposes in life and creating this balance so the try to work on this exercise I think it's very important for all of us and especially for our M participants who are um, really in search of those qualities and way to interact with the world world in their life and I will be um, I will be posting this information on our page under the live streaming and I will be reposting it on my page so if you or if you have any question if you need some support if you need to talk or if you need to share something you can email me at uh, my email address which is connected to Columbus Literacy Council it's quite long it's T Bogdanova, B-O-G-D-A-N-O-V-A -A, at columbusliteracy.org. So if you need, email me. I will send you all the information. We can talk, we can chat, we can support each other because support is really important. 
and I will provide you all the information. And uh, let's, so if you want the affirmation for this week, so the affirmation can be, um, I'm visualizing a perfect world where everyone is living in harmony and experiencing their life purpose to the fullest. So let's practice this uh, affirmation for this week while finding our purpose, finding our unique qualities, our unique way to interact interacting with this world. So I hope this program is a part of my way to find my purpose. And I hope that I am supporting you. I'm providing you some information and um, I am opening for you this space through Zoom to be so we are able to practice mindfulness, meditation, the things that support us and you are leaving this program with a focused mind uh, and knowing that anytime during the day, no matter what life unfolds for you, you know where your peace is and you can always come back to it. You can always come back to the present moment and feeling this peace and feeling this happiness. So guys, I'm really grateful for you to come here today. Hello, Claudia. Hello. Joining. And thank you very much. I'm really grateful. And I'm really wishing you a great week. I want to see you next week. And I want to hear from you as well. So let's talk. Let's get connected. And I wish to um, our staff the great week and to our M participants. Um, they're going through their work experience. So I wish them to uh, find uh, a lot of information going through this experience for themselves.